Hey guys, this is AJ with Dirtcom, and I wanted to show you up close and personal with the trail swing here. One of the main things that we had into consideration when we designed this was ease of use. So everything can be operated with one hand. You pull the pin and you pop this open. And you don't have to worry about the, uh, the swing coming out because there's an auto locking mechanism there. So there's three positions there. And what's nice about this is you can also put it on a free swing position to where you don't have to worry about it. If you don't live on any hills, that's not a big deal. But you know, everyday grocery getting and stuff, when you have to open this a bunch of times, that's really helpful. Not having to have two hands and putting pins here and there, it's literally just right there. And a lot of people ask why we put the safety pin lanyard here. There's two reasons. The first reason is so you can use the bottle opener. The second reason is if you hang it somewhere else on the tire carrier, it's not visible and it's easy to forget that it's there. But with it just hanging right there, you're never gonna forget. So you can always put it on before you leave. So if you look here, the, the wheel plate will fit a variety of vehicles. Whatever you order online will come with a welded top stud. That makes it easy for you to put your wheel on. The bottom will always be loose in case you have a different car, you can put it on a different vehicle, different wheel patterns. The height of this is also adjustable, but we found that this second to the highest position pretty much fits the best on most cars. We have a fully encapsulating license plate bracket. The reason for that is these license plates are extremely thin and we wanted to design with the license plate in mind. So if you lean on it or reach over, you go through a water crossing, there's a lot of force, your license plate will be safe. Also it comes with a light, so you don't have to worry about getting pulled over if you don't have one. We at Dirtcom also realize that everybody's different. That's why we designed all these mounting holes into the tire carrier. So you can mount your own brackets, you can mount your own things on here. You can put a backup camera there if you want without having to drill any new holes. Another question we get asked a lot is, this comes unpainted, that's actually stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about it getting rusted. You'll also notice that we have the mounting holes on the back right here. You can mount a table, you can mount a rotopax directly to this. Each trail swing will come with this Dirtcom rotopax spacer. It's gonna come black, powder coat. But what's nice about this is we designed these mounting points so you don't have to buy an extra bracket to mount your rotopax. This spaces it so it doesn't rub on these bolts. And this mounts right to this. Boom. A lot of other carriers will make you buy extra brackets to mount the roto packs. We designed it right in. You'll notice we do have this accessory bracket. This accessory bracket mounts using the existing wheel plate mount. And you can mount the roto packs to the side, as you've seen in our pictures. Another thing that you'll notice when you want to wire your license plate into your vehicle, where do you put the wires? Well, we actually put a rubber grommet right here so you can hide your wires back here and tuck it nice and clean. And if you look right below our nameplate here, there's a rubber bushing here and there's a rubber pad underneath. That rubber pad helps hold extra heavy loads, like if you're running a 33, 35 inch tire um, or fuel, the swing will rest on that when it's closed. We also wanted to avoid metal to metal contact and that's why we have these rubber bushings placed strategically here. Um, what's nice about them is if they do wear out in the future, you can replace them. One of the design features of this trail swing that was really important to us was tucking it up as high as possible so it doesn't hang below your bumper and it clears a lot of exhaust systems. Also, to help with departure angle, you'll notice that our trail swing angles immediately after it exits most of the tow hitches. This is on the closest setting right now. There's three more settings where you can push this out if you wanted to. One main thing that we took in consideration was not having a straight piece coming out that ruins your departure angle, which is especially important on smaller crossover SUVs like RAV4s and Subarus. 